Welcome to Hump Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. Goodness lesson number one. You see someone drop their wallet. Sans, drop the wallet. Oh, great. What would you do? Excuse me, sir, but I do believe you've dropped your wallet. Huh. Doesn't look familiar to me. What? I just saw you drop it. Here. Nope. It's not mine. This is yours. I'm trying to be a good person and return it to you. <laughs> return what to who? Aren't you Sans the Skeleton? Yep. And this is your ID. Yep. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, then this must be your wallet. <laughs> that makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. You will take back your wallet or I'll rip your arms off. Yeah, wrong. Good people don't rip off other people's arms. Throws Metaton blush at you. Take it. Take my legs. Uh, what in the heck was that? <gasps> okay. Um, can I just say how much I adore you, Anon? I have to say that you're very precious. But I do have a question, since you have extra limbs and seemingly longer nails. Can you crawl on the ceiling? Metafell, get down! No! I can, but Alpheus always gets mad because it scratches up the ceilings and... It interrupts her binge-watching of Seinfeld. I don't get what's wrong with that, though. What do you do when you really feel down? Like, when you're going through a terrible moment and no one seems to understand or care. Do you go somewhere? Or do something particular? By the way, you are really cute. Well, you know that mirror? The one in my room? This may sound weird, but when I feel down, I go to the mirror and talk to it. Most of the time, someone will talk to me. Most of the time, there's this really friendly guy. Sometimes, though, he'll talk about how I've made him less lonely since he lost his family. I can't help but feel bad. On some occasions, there's another voice on the other side of the mirror. She says she's doing scientific research. But she talks about this anime thing a lot. She seems like a much nicer Alpheus. You know, I hope I can finally meet them someday. Guess you can say I'm a bit crazy for talking to a mirror, but hey, it makes me feel like there's someone out there who truly cares for me and is willing to show their compassion for monsters they don't even know. Would you, Would you smooch a ghost? ghost? Don't. Holy frick! Not anymore. Uh, about, about your, your show. show. What, what do you do in it? Do, do people, people like, like it? it? Well, usually I sing. Heck, I've even tried performing more violent acts, despite my non-violent demeanor. But... Glass on the chalkboard sound better. Drama point! Who let this piece of scrap metal perform? Useless story! Oh, what a whore! Talk about goody two shoes. I know, right? Oh my gosh, what a loser! It seems that well, no matter how hard I try. Yeah. I heard how this was in the junkyard. I can't seem to impress anyone. I guess they're just a tough crowd to please, though. Well, if you found that CD next to the mirror, if you tried going through it, it's not uncommon to find mirrors that are portals to a parallel universe. Meta, you're simply amazing, and don't deserve the way the monsters treat you. 
Have you ever tried to maybe see if there is a way to go through the mirror? You said you found the CD there by it, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go through this mirror. Hopefully my fans were right about this leading to an alternate universe. Weird. The mirror's magic's reading, so they got all weird. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Oh my god. Gives you a headband with cat ears. Sup, nerds! I'm Undyne, and I'm here to teach you how to get ripped! Welcome to my show, Sam! What? As you can see, audience, this is a potato! Yeah. But we gon' turn this popstato into a spud! Uh, spuds are pop- There's only one way to turn papado signs into a buff spot! No thanks. By beating the crap out of him! What? Mighty 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 Damn, this mash pop salopso is a real catch! Please kill me! And that's how I mashed the barrier. <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> that's my brother! That's my boy. Hey, Ink. We got a problem for you. Wow. A very suspicious box. Just what I needed. Uh, uh open, open it. it. Okay. <laughs> What's the occasion? It's not my birthday, you know. Oh, an eraser! Uh, can start again. I can't believe you bought art supplies for me. <laughs> Liquid eraser? One more. Uh, oh, I know this. It's a mechanical pen! Uh, what are you trying to imply here, Error? For an artist, Ink. You should know how to erase mistakes. <laughs> You're pinky poofed. Cool! You added your special ability to this eraser. Oh, don't worry. I can draw back your pinky. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any last words? I have a last request, though. Can you also use pink strings on me? Bruh! You obviously got the wrong purple scale! Pink strings? Greetings, beauties and gentle beauties. Welcome to this special edition of MTT News. I wish I could say today's story is not grey. Frisk Dreamer. Adopted child of the Underground's royal family, and ambassador of monsters, has passed away to old age. Such news will no doubt shock many monsters, but we must remember, compared to our own lives, humans go by in the blink of an eye, and Frisk will be dearly missed. They will be buried at the foot of Mount Ebot this weekend. All monsters are welcome to pay their respects to their hero. Rest in peace, darling. Keep shining like a star. Frisk. Come on. It's been a month. Just reset already. Nothing, huh? Your soul didn't break, but... Maybe you're really gone. Wait. I'm feeling something. What's happening?
The soul changed? How, how is that possible? Oh god, Frisk is a zombie! No, wait, wait. <laughs> I know what you are now. You are not a zombie. You're a skeleton! <gasps> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Sup? Uh. How did you do that? Uh, just an old trick an old lady taught me. Who are you? Just some mask salesman. Hey, you look like a hero, right? Just so happens I need help looking for someone. Sorry, but I'm already looking for my friend. Kid, I think you'll find that by helping others, you can help yourself. What do you mean? Well... As it turns out, some kid got their hands on a dangerous mask of mine. And getting it back won't be child's play. I made a promise to take care of it. I wonder if it's the same person who cursed you. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Gee, thanks, kid. Knew I could count on you. Oh, and uh, before you go, this mask. Take it with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. And hey, you might find others too. Good luck, kid. <laughs> I'm counting on you. <laughs>